What's up everyone, my name is Mrs. Delicious and welcome to another quick stream tip video. Now one thing that I personally always like to do is after I'm done with my stream I like to go back over to my VOD and I like to see if I can find some things that I might need to improve on. Things like game audio, microphone audio, levels and all that kind of stuff. Now, as we probably all know, if you are a Twitch affiliate, Twitch only saves your files for 14 days until it deletes them from their servers. Now in today's video I'm going to show you a very simple way that you can save an entire archive of all your streams, save for free and easy over on YouTube. Okay, now for this video, I'm gonna assume that you already have a YouTube channel in place where you post other videos, maybe vlogs or Twitch highlights or anything like that. And you wanna make a second channel as to not to pollute your main channel's videos. Now, if you don't have a YouTube channel at all and you're just gonna make a new one just for your vods, it's gonna be a lot easier. You can just go to YouTube, sign up for a new account and you are good to go. But like I said, I'm gonna assume you already have a channel in place. So you actually want to make a second channel that is linked to your main account. And the way that we do this is actually pretty simple. So let's jump over to my browser so I can show you how it's done. So here I am in my YouTube channel and the first thing that you want to do is you want to click on your profile picture and from there you want to go to the settings tab. Then you will go to this page and you will see this button that says here add or manage your channels. You want to click on that and then basically here you will see all the channels that I have. We've got my main channel over here and then we have here my VOD channel and these are all linked to the same email address. So it's just one Google account with multiple channels underneath. And the one thing that you want to do is you want to click on this button create a channel and from then you're going to follow all the steps to add a channel name. So make it something like your username VODs or anything that you want to make it. And then just continue on following the steps and you will set up your new channel. And once you've done all that and you've set up your second channel, you actually need to go to Twitch to link that channel to your Twitch account. So then whenever you are done streaming, you can actually export your streams to YouTube with a few simple clicks. So let's do that right now. All right, so here we are in Twitch. And what you want to do right here is you want to click again on your profile picture and you want to go to settings. Then from there, you want to go to the connections tab. You want to scroll down a bit and then you see here YouTube that says export archives. Just click on the connect button and it will guide you through the steps that you need to take to connect your YouTube account. Make sure though that you select the correct account, the one that we just created, because obviously it's going to show you also your main account, but you want to make sure that you select the account where you want to export the VODs to. Once you've done that and you connected everything, you will see the channel URL appear here and you know that you are good to go. And we just set up the YouTube channel for our vaults and we connected it to our Twitch account so that whenever we export it, it goes to the correct channel. Now now, of course, you need to actually know how you can export your streams to your new channel once you are done. Let me show you. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your Twitch dashboard and then you're going to click here and go to your video producer. This is where I am right now and you will see these are all my streams that haven't been expired. You can see over here some of them are expiring soon because like I just said, if you're an affiliate, Twitch only saves your vaults for 14 days. So here you have all your latest streams and then once you are done streaming, all that you have to do is you click on this button, click the export button. And then it will export it to YouTube. You can give it a title. I always like to take the title of my stream, take away the extra information and then just type in Mr. Jordalicious. I don't do a description. I don't do any tags. I do all of that on YouTube. One thing that you do want to make sure though is that you want to set it to private because if you are a Twitch affiliate, you are under contract with Twitch and that contract says that you cannot have your Twitch live streams appear anywhere else within 24 hours of you being live. So that means that you can only export your videos to YouTube after 24 hours. Now, now, of course, we're not going to wait 24 hours to actually export them to YouTube, but by keeping them private, we make sure that we don't breach our affiliate contract with Twitch. Once you've done all that, just click the start export button and then basically you are good to go. You can turn off your computer, you can go to sleep, whatever you want to do, because it will take a few hours for Twitch to actually upload your entire VOD to YouTube and for YouTube to actually process it. So I usually do it directly after my stream. I export my videos to YouTube and then the next day when I wake up, the videos are going to be there waiting for me ready on YouTube to actually make the final preparations for it to go live. Now, like I said, this was a very simple and easy thing that you can do after every one of your streams to make sure that your vaults are all safe and exported to YouTube. Now, I know it's a little bit of an extra step that you need to take when you're done streaming, but for me, I've been doing this for a while now and it's basically become second nature. When I'm done with my stream, I go to my video producer, export the video, and the next day I make sure that I set the title, the thumbnails, and all that kind of stuff. I started my vault YouTube channel in November of last year, and basically every single stream that I've done since then is now saved in an archive 
archive over there. And for me, it's really nice because sometimes I like to go over them. I like to go back to certain moments. I like to take clips from certain moments as well. And to be honest, it's a lot easier if you want to download your full streams from YouTube than it is downloading them from Twitch. Well, there you have it. Now you know how you can start a second YouTube channel to create a VOD archive of all your Twitch streams over on YouTube. Now, if this video was helpful to you, please consider supporting me and my content by leaving a thumbs up on this video, subscribing to my channel, and of course, ringing that bell so you know exactly when my next video goes live. And if you want to interact with me live instead of watching my VODs over on YouTube, you can do so. I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday while I hang out with all of you amazing people in chat while I play some games. So don't be shy to come on by and say hi because I always love meeting new people. And if you want to stay up to date on my personal life as well as all my content creation endeavors, you can also follow me over on my Twitter account or you can join the Discord where you can hang out with me and other members of the community. For now though, that is all that I have for today, but I will leave you guys with this. As always, my name is Mr. Delicious. You are all extremely delicious yourself as well. Take care, have a good one, and happy streaming. Sweet beans are made of these. Who am I to disagree? I'll travel the world and the seven seas. Everybody's looking for sweet beans. Some of them are spicy. Some of them taste like rotten egg. And some of them taste like apples. And some of them don't taste so good.